So it's 7 in the morning, and I'm at Galleria Mall, camping out to get the Purunga Funko Pop. You gotta stay dedicated to get these drops, because if you don't, you're gonna miss out, and then you're gonna end up paying like 90 to $100 and above for these ECCC exclusives, so. It's 7 a.m., I got here at 8 for the Grade A Vegeta, and I felt like I was a little bit too late. But uh, hopefully 7 a.m. is early enough. And if not, then we'll make it 6 next time, fuck it. Ugh. We'll see how this line goes. So I just concluded a two hour wait at uh, Hot Topic to get the Purunga Funko Pop. Secure the bag. So I got five of them. I think I'm gonna keep two for myself and then sell the rest. And successful hunt, well worth getting up at 7 a.m. So yeah. So here it is guys. I'm gonna show you the Funko Pop real quick. Uh, sorry for the quality. I'm not on my DSLR, on my mirrorless, I'm on my phone. But I'm gonna give you a little quick look at the Funko Pop. I'm gonna go more in depth when I get home on the better camera, so check it out. What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Spike Picks. Now today's gonna be the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop haul video. So uh, I didn't attend the con, but I did camp out at Hot Topic for two hours or so to get the pops that I really wanted from the convention. Now these pops are extremely limited unless you were at the convention, got them online, which is super hard to do because everyone is on it. Like everyone's waiting for the release to hit and then they're just gonna get sold out within minutes so your third option is to camp out at your local hot topic and get some of these pops now they released pops on at hot topic barnes and noble uh the funko shop gamestop and i believe one other location I'm, that i'm forgetting but um the only ones i really wanted were the purunga pop that's right here six inch purunga pop and uh i got the Batman, also an Emerald CD Comic Con exclusive, and I finished off with Box Lunch, that's the other store that I couldn't remember, and got the Arya Stark ECCC exclusive. So, to start off this video, uh, like I've mentioned in other videos before, I only really collect Dragon Ball Pops and Star Wars Pops, with an occasional other pop in my collection just because I really like how the pop looked so there's a couple Marvel pops in my collection and so on and so forth some gaming ones but my uh, bread and butter is Star Wars and Dragon Ball so when I heard that the Purunga pop was dropping I had to be there so I showed up at Hot Topic around 7 a.m. they had a 9 a.m. early opening that day as they do for ma all major comic-con drops and uh, I was the second person in line because the first person in line shout out to Jose showed up at like 2 30 in the morning how can i compete with that but anyways i attained the legendary purunga pop now overall already it's just an amazing looking pop from seeing it online but in person it's even cooler i'm gonna get some close-up shots while i speak about this pop uh it's purunga the namekian uh dragon with the dragon balls namekian dragon balls right there at the bottom it's huge, six inch, looks glorious, it's massive. How could I not pick it up? Now these were $25 a piece, which is reasonable for ECC, for a convention exclusive. Also for a six inch pop, it's generally what they go for, around the $18, $25 range. Now I went a little crazy with this drop. I got a few extra, and by few I mean five, because uh, I have a couple friends that usually buy them off of me because they can't get them online or in person. And to be completely honest, the other ones I just resell. 
I know a lot of people hate resellers, but it is a good way to make money and I have a lot of trips coming up and I need a new car, so why not, right? You gotta do what you gotta do, so. Yeah, so this was my first pickup of the day, was the Purunga, five Purungas. And uh, while I was at Hot Topic, they told me that a Batman Funko exclusive was also coming out. So this is the other one that I picked up. This is for a friend because I don't really collect Batman Pops and he does. He's all about the Batman Pops. This isn't really a Funko Pop per se, like your traditional one. This is more of a limited edition, like collector's item, I guess. It has a little cool window here, it opens up and you get to see the little figure inside the little tiny Batman. It's really rad. I'd keep it myself, but got it for, got it for him. Uh, but very cool piece. They only had three of these at the Hot Topic that I was camping out at. So when I heard that there was only three, I got I got one of them. So the guy in front of me got the first one. I got another one, and then the third one I have no idea. But that was that for this one. The other exclusive that I camped out for was the Game of Thrones Arya Stark pop, as you see right here. Now this was a Box Lunch exclusive. Now Box Lunch is an affiliate of Hot Topic, owned by Hot Topic, and uh, most of the pro a lot of the proceeds from their items go to charity which is awesome they round out your total and whatever you round up to that change goes to a charity i don't collect game of thrones pops either but my friend does so i picked him up this exclusive while i was there uh, i'm a good friend huh but yeah this one was about 15 dollars most exclusive regular uh, sized pops are in the 15 dollar range so this was a cool grab and they had a ton of them the line was only like eight people deep and it was pretty easy grab I want to say the Purunga was the hardest because I think they only had like 25 of them or or so maybe more I'm not sure now I did pick up one other pop and this is because I've been looking for this pop for a while and I was already at box lunch now this isn't an exclusive by any means but it brought me closer to completing my a my hero academia pop collection so I picked up Suyu while I was at it this pop was only $10 $10.50 Awesome price, brings me closer to completing my collection. So, how to grab it. Actually, I have all these in the back already, so. Collection's getting pretty big. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this ECCC Funko Pop haul. I'm gonna try to make more Funko Pop videos because I picked up a ton lately, and my collection's growing, 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 and I know there's a niche for that. And uh, I just love displaying them and talking about pops because I've gotten really into them lately. It's kind of a stress reliever. I don't know. Like I just enjoy the figures themselves, displaying them, and been a long time fan of Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball pops are everywhere now. And why not, right? So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you grabbed any of these pops on release day, how you grabbed them, where you camped out at, how long you camped out for, and etc. So. Thanks for watching guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more Funko Pop videos in the future. Till next time, peace.